This is Scott with TutorialStop.com. Today we're going to be showing you what I like to refer to as the postcard effect. When I was young, I used to travel a lot, around a lot with my dad, and I remember going into souvenir shops and truck stops and seeing this effect, this text effect on postcards. Anyway, the image I'm using is brought to us by Nestor Galena, and uh, it's licensed under Creative Commons. And if you go to TutorialStop.com, tutorialstop.com right here's the address you can find a link to this image so that you can try this tutorial out as well okay so let's go ahead and start here so open up some kind of image and I'm gonna take the text layer that I currently have up there and trash it uh, take some kind of image in this case it's just a whale and get your text tool and with the text tool active I'm just gonna click right inside my text area and I'm gonna type in for example Alaska I'm gonna go back to my move tool click on my move tool and that looks pretty good now this effect works best if you have a nice thick font a nice thick font what I mean by that is the letters are nice and thick okay we need to make this bigger so I'm gonna do a control T or command T on the Mac and stretch this out that looks good. I'm going to hit enter to accept the transform. So control T or command T on the Mac will allow you to resize your text. When that's done, I'm not real happy I like that font. Um, so what I'm going to do is, here's my layers palette. I'm going to double click on the text layer and it uh, immediately highlights any of the text that's currently in the layer and brings up my font options up at the top. In this case, what I would like is the impact font, because I know it's nice and thick. So I'm going to just click up there and type in impact and start typing the letters. You can see it automatically jumps down to the impact font. Or you can always click on the drop down. Everything's in alphabetical order, and you can hunt it down. So there we go. I'm going to select impact. By the way, here's a great little tip. Um, I'm going to get back to my move tool. If you want to have kind of a real-time preview of what this is going to look like in a certain type of font, you can double click the font, double click right there on the text layer, come up to this font selection option, just single click on that so it's highlighted. You can see it's highlighted in blue. Use the up and down arrow keys on your keypad to just cycle through the different fonts. So when you find something you like and you're happy with, you just leave it at that. So I'm going to jump to impact there, switch back to your move tool, and everything's good. All right, so we're uh, we're coming along here. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit larger. So again, I have my move tool, Control T, Command T on the Mac, make that a little bit bigger. So it covers up most of the graphic. Okay, shut down my layers palette there. When you're all done, hit your Enter key. All right, so that's looking good. Now for the effect, and you're going to be real surprised how easy this is. I'm going to open up my layers palette. Now we have two opacity sliders up here. There's one for the opacity of the entire layer and there's one for the fill opacity. What we want to do is take this fill opacity slider and drop it all the way down. You can see that the whale or the Alaska text just disappeared. It's still there but we took the opacity of the fill and dropped it all the way down so it was 0% opaque. Here's where the magic comes in. Come down here to the small FX so we're gonna add a layer style click on that and add a bevel. So I'm going to choose bevel and emboss. Immediately you can see that postcard effect. So immediately the Alaska text was had a bevel applied to it. So here's our layers dialog. Here you can see bevel and emboss. You can adjust the emboss settings. I'm going to choose outer. I think I'm going to keep it smooth. You can adjust the depth of the the um, the emboss there or the bevel and you can see it happening in real time that's why I like to move this out of the way make sure previews check by the way so you can see what's going on and you can soften up the edges if you wish okay so what's also neat about this I'm gonna come down and click on stroke you can see I get a stroke around this I'm gonna click on the actual word stroke because notice my bevel and emboss options are this there so I'm gonna click on the word stroke and I'm gonna choose inside I'm gonna change it I'm gonna click on my stroke color picker there and again where I click is right there I'm gonna come sample some blue uh, that's nice oh you know what I think I'm gonna go white I like white there and you can adjust this if you want you can make it so big it just kinda disappears there I'm gonna just go with about three pixels I'm gonna click OK 
So as you can see, just dropping that layer opacity and adding some layer styles just gives you this really cool effect. Now what happens if I grab the wrong slider and did the opacity slider instead? I'm going to drop, bring the fill opacity back up. And if I did the opacity slider instead, well, that adjusts the opacity of everything on that layer, including the effects attached to it. So you won't be able to see anything. So we don't want to do that. I'm going to take that back up and instead drop the fill opacity again. Okay, I'm going to move my layers palette out of the way. What's so cool about this is you can get your move tool now and move this wherever you like. And it doesn't matter. You can resize it by doing a Control D or Command T on the Mac. But the effect is just so simple to apply. You just drag the fill slider down and apply some some uh, effects to it. So again, apply, drag the fill slider down to that layer and apply a layer style to it.